In this video, we're investigating the convergence of an alternating series. And ordinarily, the first thing you do is look for absolute convergence, because if you can prove that, it automatically means that ordinary convergence is going to happen. So absolute convergence just means test the convergence of the absolute values. All right, and I'm quite certain this actually diverges because it looks like in the large n limit, this is becoming basically one over root n. So I'm going to do a limit comparison to the series n equals one to infinity, one over root n. And I know that's a divergent p series because it has an exponent less than one. It's an n to the one half in the denominator. So my limit comparison goes like this. The limit as n goes to infinity the terms of my series divided by the terms of the one I'm comparing to and I just multiply by the reciprocal and that gives me the limit as n goes to infinity of root n over n plus 1 I could divide the top and bottom of that fraction by n and I get the limit as n goes to infinity of 1 over 1 plus 1 over n and 1 over n unambiguously goes to 0 as n becomes large and I get a 1 out of this because I got a finite number out of it, it means the convergence behavior of these two series must be the same. Therefore, the series of absolute values diverges. So our alternating series is not absolutely convergent, but it might still be convergent in the ordinary sense. So for that, we use the alternating series test. First, I need to show that the next term is always less than or equal to the previous term. And second, I need to show that the terms go to zero in the large n limit. So let's look at that first condition. a n plus 1 is 1 over square root of n plus 1 plus 1. All right, that's 1 over square root of n plus 2. a n is 1 over square root n plus 1. So in this case, it's just crystal clear that the denominator of a n plus 1 is a bigger thing. It's one bigger inside the square root. So it's got to be a smaller result. So a n plus 1 is actually strictly less than a n. So we win on number 1. Number 2, the limit as n goes to infinity of 1 over root n plus 1. This one, you can just go straight to the answer. The denominator is becoming infinite. The numerator, it stays at 1. And so this goes to 0. And so we have number 1 and number 2 proven. And we can say, therefore, this alternating series converges in the ordinary sense, even though it diverged when I took the absolute values of the terms. And the way we describe that is that it's conditionally convergent. 